What's good? What's good? Happy Saturday. This is Cassandra, and I come with a quick nugget. I've been talking so much about attracting from a place of authenticity. And I just, during my studies, I just want to touch on this one subject. Beware of the feminine man. Beware of the feminine energy man. Not, you know, feminine, but the feminine energy. And what is this? This is the energy that is intimidated by your light. This is the energy that fights you and compares with you and tries to keep you in a place that is beneath them. The narcissist operates in the feminine energy. The narcissist man operates in a feminine energy because they are intimidated. They have not, you know, gotten to the true core of who they are and everything that you do as a woman to advance yourself, in a sense, it looks like it's something against them. But a masculine energy man will promote his woman. A masculine, masculine energy man will invest in his woman. You know, you hear the story about the Proverbs woman and, you know, how she ran businesses and how she ran her household and how she did everything. It doesn't say anything about her going outside of her household to work. She built businesses and she was able to do that because she had a masculine energy man with her. Sis, beware of the feminine energy man. He's intimidated by everything that you do to advance yourself. And the only thing that you can do with the feminine energy man is walk away. Because you will wear yourself out wondering why, why, why. Ask God to lead you. Ask God to give you the strength and the courage to wait. To wait for your king. Just think. If you're operating in your femininity. And you're building businesses. He's there. He's supporting you. Because he realizes this is my queen. I don't have to compare or compete with her. I just need to build her. Because if I build her, I know not only am I good, but everybody that's attached, everybody that is looking onward will be blessed. It's time to step away from the feminine energy man. And... Mothers, don't raise feminine boys. Don't do everything for them. Make them critical thinkers. Let them figure some stuff out for themselves. Because if you are doing everything for them, they are going to seek a woman to do everything for them. I'm not scared. Of a masculine energy man. It's actually what I desire. It's actually what I'm waiting for. Sis. Beware of the feminine energy man. Alright. This is Cassandra. Later.